Hello, scrappers. I am here to teach the Enjoy the Journey uh, scrapbooking kits. Um, I am Lori Hogg. I have been with the whole kit and caboodle, if you're new to us, for about a year and a few months now. The, um, the journey has been an awesome one. I followed my dream, as if you have seen the titles on the scrapbook page. I followed my dream and I applied for the job at the whole kit and caboodle and boy have I enjoyed the journey. I was hired in as the event coordinator and I have, um, besides writing the scripts and all for all of the events and um, getting to plan the events and the costumes and all of everything that goes along with it, I um, have gotten to uh, start working in the store some. I live in Ohio, uh, so I, I do travel uh, to come down here and um, work in the store. And now I've gotten to start designing pages. So it's been quite the journey so far. So let's go ahead and start on our page kits. You can go ahead and take out the kit and we will get started. I love starting with a darker color. I don't know why darker colors and I was looking through the pages and found this navy blue rainbow paper and just fell in love with it. So that was the background of one of the pages for us. So the first page we're going to work on is the left, which is the follow your dreams page. Uh, you'll need the navy blue background and then the four triangles that we're going to apply to the page. We'll have room for all of it. Okay, I decided to do um, the more bolder printed on both sides. Oh, silly me. And then the yellow at the top and the pink at the bottom. Now, when I um, put these down, we are going to go about a quarter of an inch or so from each side. And then you're going to leave a little bit, a little bit, so you can see the dark navy coming through on each of the four sections of the triangles. If you can see them all in there. So that's how they're going to be applied. About a quarter inch in and then leave a little strip in here um, in the middle. Now if it helps for you to lay them out a little bit first, that's what I'm going to do because it just is makes it a little bit easier to make sure that you're putting it in the right spot and make sure it looks equal on all sides. And then we'll very carefully list, lift each section up and apply it. Okay, so I'll get my flower one going and the pink. And so, okay, if everybody has theirs laid out, I'm going to start up at the top and take the yellow section off. Just make sure that there is equal amount of space in between all of your triangles. I think I'm good, so I'm going to start adhering. First, if you want to hold these three down, just like this, pick up your yellow and put your adhesive on the back. Another fun, fun rainbow page. The colors that we were getting to use for all these rainbow pages were so much fun. So bright and cheery. All right, so the first piece I'm going to apply is the yellow triangle. When I was deciding what I wanted to do for this spread, I was struggling because I couldn't figure out, well, I figured out what I wanted, but I couldn't figure out how to get it on paper. 
So I came to Andrea and she did help me figure out in design space how to do the um, cut out the triangles here for these pages because I didn't know how to get my idea to the page. So she helped me um, create the triangle in design space. So next I'm going to apply the butterfly, which is to the right. I'm learning about design space but I still have a long way to go, but I'm trying. Again, remember to leave the equal distance, a little spacing so the navy is showing through. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, but my OCD, you know, I have a little issues with that. All right, so next we're gonna go to the, well, I guess you can apply however you want, but I'm gonna go with the flower next. That'll help with the last section of the, the pink hearts on where to put it. Okay, so we'll put down the flower triangle. A little point sort of help here on where to Put it down and the last piece then will be the heart. So it'll fit just right in there. We had worked all day the day that I started working on, that I was gonna start working on this design. We were shipping out, I think we were shipping orders that day. And um, Andrea and I started pretty late that evening uh, to put this design in design space um, so I could um, learn how to get these triangles done and oh pretty stressful all right so we have the whole background on now for the first page so we're going to set this aside and we're going to pull out the bag of die cuts we'll have these cool um dimensional flowers i think that i thought they were so cute and they're so soft and squishy I thought they were really fun. So the bag of die cuts that you'll need first is the um, the rainbow page. And everything should sort of be grouped together. Now your little tiny pieces of you see, they're, they're already coming up. The static electricity will take them up. So if you can't find a page, they're little pieces, they're stuck in there somewhere. So go ahead and pull them out. All right, I think I've got all of mine of the follow your dreams. I tried to make them make a wish as big as I could so it made the letters easier. I figured if my little crippled fingers could get those, <laughs> anybody could probably get them on there. All right. So let us put the rainbow together first. And the back will be the black piece. And the first piece that we're going to adhere will be the uh, yellow piece. So go ahead and put your adhesive on and we will get the rainbow put together. We had some pretty good storms this spring. Uh, we had uh, r these storms that kept going through and and then the sun would come out and still be raining. And the last time we had a beautiful rainbow. I hadn't seen one for a long, long time. And it actually turned out to be a double rainbow. And it was so vibrant and so pretty. All righty. So we're going to adhere the yellow. You'll have equal spacing all the way around the black will sort of be the outline of the rainbow. If you can see here, all the way around. All right, so then we're going to apply the green piece. Whenever I can use the glimmer paper, I just think it is so fun. And so I'm like, ooh, I'll make the rainbow out of the glimmer paper this time. So each, as we are working up with the rainbow, um, the green will go clear on the outside of the yellow. And then here, and the next piece will be the pink. You can really see the sparklies on the 
the pink. When we moved to our home now, like it took away all of our, um, I cannot really see the sunset or rise anymore. So it makes me sad. So I was like pretty excited to see the rainbow. All right, so we're gonna adhere the pink. And last, we're going to um, apply the blue. I am gonna use uh, some glue um, to apply this just because it um, is a smaller piece. It'll be harder with the adhesive that I'm using. All right. And then the blue will be the last piece clear up to the top of the rainbow. I took quite a few pictures of the rainbow, but I tell you, it just did not do it justice. It was just so beautiful to look at, and but the pictures just did not show the true beauty of that rainbow, but it was awesome to look at. Okay, so your rainbow is done. Then next we're gonna work on the sun. I did use the Nouveau Glitter Markers on uh, some of the uh, die cut pieces. If you have them, great. If you don't, um, no problem. You can use something else or nothing at all. Uh, if you want, you can just um, ink if you don't have the markers or whatever your heart desires. Shake up your marker if you have one. Make sure that that glitter is dispersed all throughout in there. And then basically what I did, um, I just went along the outside of each of the peaks of the sun and then around the whole circle there. Doesn't have to be perfect. I just went around it just to give it a little sparkle and shine. Now, um, about the Nouveau Glitter Markers, um, it, I just learned about them myself, I guess. Um, make sure that when you're using them, you keep them shook up because they, if the, the glitter will settle and you want to keep it distributed throughout evenly while you're using it. And if you've ever used them to get them started, you just pump them until the ink gets dispersed all through the point of the marker. They do have a couple new colors now. There's a golden honey, I believe it's called, and a ivy, something ivy. It's silly me, I don't remember now what it is called. So that is done, and then I just went around the outside of the circle of the sign. I don't really know how I decide to use the markers, but I just thought with the glimmer paper on this spread that adding more sparkle and shine would, would be fun. And you can always, if you don't see en like enough glitter, because sometimes in the, um, with this, with the textured paper, uh, when you're using the marker, sometimes it will um, go down into the, I guess, the cracks of the paper a little bit. So you can go back over the top of it uh, a little bit if it looks like you haven't hit a certain spot as much. That's what I do. So there's, so there's glitter all the, all the way around. If there's a hard part of this spread, it's putting this the peaks of the sun on here. Um, I can't, I should have figured it out beforehand, but it took me a minute to figure out which pieces went where. Once you get the, it's like a puzzle. You guys will probably figure out the puzzle before me here. I think I found it. Voila, I found it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there is, let me see, the longest. Looks like the longest ray is up here to your left. Can you see that? 
right here looks to be the longest one that will go right here. I don't know how else to explain. You can just move it around on the sun until you find it. All right, you guys are just going to have to move it around until, like I was wrong, it, the longest spike is over here on this side. Just move it around until you find the right slot for the, and now I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to mark this one. Put a little red mark here. This is an easy way to do it, right? And then a little mark on this one. And then once I, once I go to adhere it, I'll know exactly where it goes. It's a good little trick, right? Okay, so I put a little red mark here on this one, and I got a little red mark here. So go ahead and put your adhesive on. We'll adhere the outside. I don't know about where you live, but the sun has sure been shining bright where I live. Oh my gosh, the temperatures have just been beastly hot and in the 90s or upper 80s. And I, I sort of get awful grouchy when it gets this hot out. Do we have any other like snow people out there besides myself? Because I am definitely a snow lover over summer sun and heat. All right, I found my uh, red dots and I am going to apply the sun outside of the sun. And then Go ahead and adhere the center circle. I didn't try to align that up when I put it together. I figured the sun's just all a shining bright circle. So I just put her on there. Equal amounts of white doesn't matter. And there you go. Your little sun's put together. The only thing that we're going to do with uh, the little scalloped edge circle, the navy circle, is what we'll be working on next. Um, I used the Athenian Blue Nouveau Glitter Marker and just went around the outside of the scallops uh, just to add some sparkle to that. So if you have one of the markers or inks or whatever you'd like to use, go ahead and get that done now. Nick had told me I didn't, I, I'm not sure how I remember pronouncing the, so I made sure, I wanted to make sure this time that I was pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> now, if you've had them a little while, uh, they'll start losing a little bit of your juice and you'll just have to keep them shook up just a little bit more. Alrighty, so then we'll set that aside. And we're going to put together a little honey pot. I thought, when you, I think of a rainbow, it's always like, always think of the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Never found my pot of gold, but hopefully one of you may someday. And we use this gold sparkly paper for the stars at our uh, movies, going to the movies event in Florida. So I, I remember that we had the extra gold paper. So I'm like, oh, it'll be really cool to have that gold paper for the, the pot of gold. All right, so I'm going to use this. We're going to adhere the, I think the glue might, well, I don't think it matters. I'm going to put the pot on top of the gold. And then you'll be able to see the gold at the top. And then the other piece of gold, I am going to use the liquid adhesive for that piece and adhere that to the top. There you go. Make sure it's on there, right? And there you've got your pot of gold. Now, wouldn't be, it be nice if this was real and that was real gold in there, right? 
Okay, so let us put together Make a Wish. Most glues anymore do dry clear. So if you get a little bit of overrun, you'll be all set because it'll just dry clear. And make sure, I almost did this, um, that you have the textured side up of the cardstock. There's a textured side, which is not, this is not good to show because it's so little. There's a textured side, which the, the, um, the words won't matter, but the other, like let's say this swirl piece, there's a textured side and a more smooth side. You always want the textured side of the cardstock up. So a couple times I caught myself just scrapping at home and I'm like, oh, whoopsie. I did for a while, we I didn't um, know about Andrea's cardstock and I was getting this other cardstock and oh my word, when I went to use Andrea's over that, there is absolutely no difference between the my colors cardstock and some of the other that I was using. So if you haven't used this cardstock yet, why I highly, highly recommend it. It's it's amazing. All right, we got the make on there. Okay. Not remember if when I was a kid, if any of my wishes ever came true when I made a wish when I saw that rainbow, but. All right, we've got one done. We'll finish with the wish. When I was um, designing this the second day, when I was cutting everything else out, with all the die cuts and everything for work, um, uh, I'm sure that most of you have seen that Andrea's son and Nick got married just recently. And they were in, it was so fun the day I was working on this uh, spread because they were in here working on their wedding invitations. So I was getting to sit at a whole table of fun creativity. Everybody was working on something different and they were, they actually had a, like a can, like a wax thing that they were melting wax and they were putting like a, a wax seal on their wedding invitations. They were so beautiful. Okay, a couple more letters here. I don't know about you girls, but I, and gentlemen, um, I love to crop where there's a bunch of people sometimes because the creativity in the room, it just, it's just such a different vibe sometimes than when you're doing it by yourself. And when we go to Florida, oh my goodness, the the creativeness, just walking around and looking at everybody's projects down there. It's like, it's so fun. Even looking at um, some of Andrea's older page kits that I hadn't, I hadn't seen that people were putting together. It's like, oh, they're so cool. All right, let's do the little butterfly now. The black will be the background and then of course the blue and then the purple. So go ahead and put your adhesive on the light blue part of the butterfly. I never know. I hope I'm going at a good pace for everyone. If you get a little bit behind, don't worry. The videos will always be here. You can always go back at a later time and watch. 
All right, we got the black on and now the fun. Of course, I had to use the glimmer paper for the top of the wing. My son is really into like save the bees and all of that stuff. And so I, I got um, a couple butterfly bushes and stuff the bees and the butterflies would like. I just, it makes me so sad. Like you just don't even really see butterflies anymore much. And I was um, looking outside the other day and there's a, I have like a flower. I think it was like, a, it's a little lilac kind of bush that I just have in my garden right now. And there was the biggest butterfly. I hadn't seen like one like that in years. It had huge leaves or leaves. Oh my goodness. Wings on it. And it was so beautiful and colorful. And like I said, it just makes me sad. You just don't see them much anymore. All right. We're going to put together, follow your dreams. And you'll have the little tiny pieces that will go inside. So make sure you have all of those little pieces. They were placed when they were bagged where they exactly where they needed to go. But sometimes they, like I said, the static, when you put them in there, they just fly to the top. These are the little pieces that you make sure that you have to put on. Okay, once you have everything ready, you can go ahead and start putting together the follow your dreams. The... Uh, the follow the um, I'm sorry the navy will go right over the top of the white just like that all right so go ahead and, and uh, apply your adhesive again we're working with a thinner outline that you want to be a little careful of the application we have full production going on out there today. They're actually putting together my um, the Mickey album that I'll be teaching in Lancaster in the end of uh, July. Hopefully some of you will be able to go to like uh, Lancaster. It was so fun. It was my first show last year and I had just had my second shoulder surgery. So I was hurting a little bit down there, but oh, it was so fun. And they had the best restaurants there that we got to eat at after the show was over. The Mickey album is actually the first um, thing that I put together for Andrea. And the first class that I had taught in person, um, let me tell you, I was about a nervous wreck. But once I got started, it was so fun. I loved it. The Mickey album will be offered just once because of time in Lancaster. So I think we'll have it then. We'll have it um, at another time that we'll be offering it after the show's CKC events are over. If you are not able to make it. All right, I have followed on. I'll set it out there for you to see. Working on your. My husband had Achilles surgery three, three weeks ago now. And we've got his cast off. So we've got that off. And um, he's still not weight bearing. I call it his little scooter. He's on one of those little knee scooters and he gets around pretty good now. So I asked him on Sunday, this was last minute that I was able to come down and get my filming done and be able to work at the store and help with shipping. And he's like, I said, so honey, how do you, how do you feel? Like, I'd be okay if I leave. And he's like, when do you want to go? <laughs> So he's home funding for himself right now. I had all of the food made for him. I had it all organized in the fridge and little containers for him. He just needed to pull it out and put it in his little basket. And I told him to put his tray in front of his chair and then take 
each thing and individually so he didn't fall or drop the food all over and pull the tray and set it up on his lap. Part-time, sometimes when they need him, he teaches at the local, a local college there and his class starts tomorrow. So I have to drive him to his class up in Toledo. So this was a fast trip down to help with shipping and get the classes filmed. And then I have misplaced my, I know it was just right there a second ago. Is it on my arm? I lost a little tiny piece. Oh, so silly. I also love it when you do that. I mean, seriously. Stop, I lost another piece. It was just right here. Oh, for crying out loud. Dude. It's like legit porn. Okay, clear, clear back by the wall. Now, now tell me, how did it get back there? Seriously. <sighs> okay, back in the mold. All right, there's my little D piece of my D. Gonna get him on and we'll be finished with Follow Your Dreams. All right, and then we'll set those aside. And I think that we have, yay, everything is put together. Now the fun part. We will put everything together on the page now. So you'll pull back out the base of your page and go ahead and pull out your um, flower packet. And we're gonna open that up and we're gonna um, put the flower in the middle of your scalloped blue circle. So go ahead and pull those flowers out. You'll really get to see them now, all the fun dimension that's in there. Can you, the, um, the layers of all the little felt. So you'll actually need this piece or this flower right here, clear to the bottom left. And it's really awesome because it's got the sticky on the back and it's popped up. No need for pop-ups here. All right, so just go ahead and put that right in the middle. And then we're going to need your um, other navy blue. Let me give you the correct. I usually have a lot of these. I'm getting to learn, learn them now. Velvet Knight. Velvet Knight uh, piece of card stock out. And we're going to cut um the the backings of the photos for the photos now you can um make the um size of the photos whatever size that you want to the pictures uh what i'm gonna do here is just go by what um what i originally did but if you have more pictures less pictures want to make them bigger smaller have at it. You can go um, make them whatever size you want, but I'm going to um, follow here and in the instructions, it will tell you exactly um, what size right here in uh, number seven. Um, for the left side, it will give you the exact um, mat um, measurements. So the first one I'm going to do is six and a quarter by four and a quarter. So, oh, six and a quarter. Oops. Five, four and a quarter. And 
and set that one aside. And then we're gonna do five and a quarter by three and three quarter. Five and a quarter by three and three quarter. Uh, I don't know, I think I may have enough here. And the last is two and three fourths by two and three fourths. No. So two and three fours by two and three fours. There you go. So you've got those three mats ready to go and just set your other pieces to the side because we will use those on the right side. All right, so what we're going to do is actually, I'm going to put these top first two uh, photo mats on because this little piece here, the little swirly, um, we're going to, um, not glue this down. If you can see, um, I didn't glue this. So it can just lay over the top of your photo here. So go ahead and apply your four by six photo backing and it will go in. Let me get the adhesive on and I'll show you exactly. Now make sure that you have your textured side up here. All right. Now we're going to put this clear to the top, right, the right side, and about a quarter down and a quarter in from your printed paper. There we go. And then we're going to put on the three and a half by five textured side up. And then we're going to place it basically in the middle of the four by six, spacing it just a little bit apart here. All right, and then we're going to apply the little curly cues, the little swirls. This will be up at the top here. And this one we will, it, they will overlap underneath of the photo mat. We'll go about right here. If you wanna look and see. Uh, now make sure that you do not put adhesive on the underneath of this last little swirl here. Do not put adhesive here because that's going to overlap our circle and do not put adhesive here on the outside of the swirl because that's going to overlap the picture. So go ahead and we'll put the little swirls down. Hopefully you guys are enjoying all of the classes that we prepared for you. I thought they turned out so fun and are enjoying our, oh look, look, and I did it. I went and put adhesive on there after I just told you guys not to do that. I should follow my own instructions, right? Oh, shoot. Oh, we're lucky. It just wipes right off. All right. So go ahead and apply that right in the corner. It'll come down probably about just a fourth of an inch from the top. I never thought that I would get to... Um, be an actress per se and all of these events that that we're doing but i think the cowardly lion so far has been one of my my favorites um 
I, I, I don't have a lot of confidence in myself. And so I need the, a lot of courage to try new things. So the, the part actually fit me pretty well. So, but it was, it was very fun to, to be the cowardly lion. So again, we're going to just apply this. It doesn't matter what it looks like under here because the, the scallop circle is going to go over the top. Just have this um, overlapping the top of your photo just a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and apply the scalloped circle. And the top of your spread will be complete. Now go ahead and overlap the little swirl on the side. And adhere. And then we'll go ahead and just put the little um, two and a half by two and a half or two and three quarters, I guess, two and three quarters photo frame down here. It'll go in the left uh, corner. About two inches from the bottom and three quarters from the left side. And then we're going to apply the follow your dreams down at the bottom. If you sort of want to lay it out so you have the placement where you want them, the words, and then you can lift them off and it put them on your adhesive. Now you will want room here to the right um, to put on your pot of honey. Oh my gosh, pot of gold. I think I said pot of honey earlier. Whoopsie. Uh, pot of gold here and your little butterfly up here. So you want follow. So you'll just see a tiny little bit of pink over here to your left where you start the words about right there and then go ahead and um, put the wording down. I haven't gotten to see the part of the filming yet because I had to leave and go home from my husband's surgery. So Joseph and Nick went back uh, to record a couple other parts. So I'm so excited and anxious to see those, the recordings, what they did when I was not here. Your And dreams, and then we'll work on the rainbow. All right. So next, we're actually going to put the sun down. And you want to, I am just going to put him down here just so you guys can sort of see a little bit of the um, placement. It might help you guys to do that too because I put the rainbow right, right above the uh, most of the wording here on follow your dreams. Let me get the other page so you can see right here when we're placing it. Um, it goes about even. The outside of the rainbow will be um, outside of the S just a tiny bit, the black edge. But the blue sort of actually even up right here, if that helps with your placement. And then the tuck of the sun, leave 
most of the sun out and tuck just a little bit of the sun back behind the rainbow there. Okay, once you have your placement that you like, go ahead and put it down. I'm gonna put the sun down first. I'm gonna do a little bit of both here. I'm gonna do some dry and some little bit of glue on the rays a little bit. I thought this sun was fun. I couldn't <clears throat> always when, you know, the design space offers so many different varieties of like you put in sun and there's a bunch of different suns and I just thought this one was cute for this spread. All right, and then we'll put on the fun rainbow. And then we're going to do the make a wish. And I um, had it like circled it around so it would just fit right around the rainbow. Um, no exact placement that you need. Just um, put it up here at the top of the rainbow because we do want our uh, enough room for a pot here. So go ahead and apply make a wish. One more. All right, so make a wishes on. And then I used the pop dots to apply the pot of gold and also the butterfly. So if you have pop dots, um, you can use them if you wish, or if not, um, you can um, just adhere them flat to your page. I love pop dots though. I think I just bought three more things of them. I have, these are sort of my favorite because they're a little bit, um, higher than some of them. I guess they pop a little bit more off your page than others. I'll tell you what kind they are. They are the Zots, are, are my favorite, but everybody has different preferences. Um, but those are what, I, these are the kind that I use. Oh, and I'm shutting, there's one of my hair. All right, so we're gonna put the little pot down here in the corner. And then we're gonna pop the butterfly off the page. And we will have, I don't know if he's gonna be too, no. And then I'm gonna put him right on the corner of the pot. So cute. And there you have your left page done. So you will need your rainbow paper for the right side. And the first thing you're gonna want to do is cut the barcode line off. Oops. Goodness, that made a lot of racket. Oh. 
once that is caught, we are going to need the chevron pieces. If you want to get all of those out. Now the first time I put on these chevron pieces, I'd start all over. I was like, whoopsie. The pieces didn't line up the way that I thought they would and the spacing wasn't right on the top and the bottom for what I wanted. So I'm gonna show you guys what to do so you don't uh, have that same issue that I did. So what you'll wanna do is um, start I started with the pink. We're just going to have to arrange them a little bit um, as we go along so we can get the placements correct. But you want, because this will help with your placement at the top, if you can see here, and at the bottom, about a quarter inch on each. And then what you're going to work from there. We're going to go with the orange, lay the orange piece out and it will just tuck right in there. It doesn't have to be perfect just laying it out. We're just getting the top and bottom spacing um, more accurate. And then the yellow will tuck in there. And then you can move those three pieces clear to the right. Okay, now you can, if you can see, I've got equal spacing at the bottom and the top. And then you want your yellow, you can see the top part of the chevron, flush up here to the rainbow paper and flush down here. And then you want the green tucked into the yellow, the blue, And last but not least, the purple. And if you can see then, it will all be flush to the left and you will come down about a quarter of an inch from the top and it'll be about a quarter inch from the bottom. Now what you want to do, um, I then started with the purple Start adhering the purple and work out. We're going to go backwards this time. So go ahead and start adhering all of your pieces. I suggest, like I said, start with the purple and adhere all your pieces to your chevron rainbow. And this is one of the pieces that I had absolutely no idea how to get from my head to the paper. <laughs> Gotta learn. And make sure that your, um, the outside points here of the rainbow are flush to the paper. So I have my purple applied. Now I'm gonna go with the blue. I hope that helps you put this together the way I explained it. Like I said it took me twice to figure it out. Okay, so the blue will go flush up to the purple. It doesn't matter if the back pieces move now because you'll be, um, we just needed those for accurate measurements there. All right, going with the green. Do you guys have fun, exciting pictures that you have planned for this page? I thought there's so many fun things that, um, you could do, I was trying to think of a good title and 
follow your dream and enjoy your journey. I think someone did, which I hadn't thought of, suggested um, like a graduation page. Um, talk about from, you know, like their schooling to their, where they're after graduation, where it's, their dreams are taking them to. I thought that was an excellent idea when we debuted the page. All right, so now I'm on to the yellow. Like I said, if you guys are, anybody's falling behind or whatever, these videos are housed right here. Oopsie. And so you can go back anytime. And they'll always be there for you to be able to put them together. Okay, the, I, I got out of order, the orange and then the pink. My husband and I celebrated our 31st wedding anniversary on July 6th. All right, I'm to the last piece here, which is the pink. All right. We have the whole chevron part of the rainbow put together. All right, once you're through with that, we're going to set that aside. Um, and then we're going to... Um, Pull in your yellow card stack. And we're going to cut the photo mats out for this side. And again, the instructions tell you exactly um, on step number four, the size to cut them. If you want to um, have different size of pictures, have want to place them differently or um, whatever, you can call it the photo mats to whatever this, um, size of photos if you want to wait. Uh, if you don't have pictures for this page yet decided. Um, but we're going to go ahead and call it um, as I have right now. Um, and the first one is three and three quarter by five and a quarter. So five and a quarter, five, three and three quarters, and then four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So six and a quarter. by four and a quarter. All right, so we're going to now, this out of the way, we're going to put on our photo mats because some of our die cuts are gonna go over again on top of some of the photo mats. So let us adhere the four and a half, or four and a quarter by six and a quarter first. That'll go down at the bottom of the page. All right, so it's gonna go over probably about three quarters of an inch from the right and about a quarter inch from the bottom. And we're gonna put on the top. Oops. All 
All right, and we're going to just put this right in the middle above the bottom one. And about a, about a quarter of an inch from the top and in the middle of the bottom photo mat. All right, so we've got the chevron pieces on, the photo mats, and now we're going to set this aside. And we're going to pull out the package of our die cuts. It's sort of getting a little bit warm in my little room here. All right, but they got their die cuts out. And let us just put enjoy the journey together first. Get a little drink here quick. I am parched. Sorry about that. Okay. The, <clears throat> if you, let's, I'm going to just slide the navy out from behind so you can see it easier if you can do that. Um, and we're going to put the letters on first because they're basically laid out as they should be. So it'll be easier for you to put them together since they're already, hopefully they are pretty close still to being in the same spot. And then go ahead and the, um, I guess I want to call it the offset, the white background, um, they will just fit, if you can see the curve of the letters, it'll, they'll just fit right in there. So go ahead and apply your title. Enjoy the journey. All right, I've got mine in place here so I can just quickly pick them up and apply the adhesive then. I don't know how I get so much adhesive stuck to my fingers by the end of my project. I feel like I need a like a wet rag or something to wipe them off. All right, so go ahead and start applying your title. I thought about how else I could use this page. I thought a couple of ways. Of course, I've so enjoyed the journey of my time here. Um, but I was a hairdresser for um, 34 years and I loved my job. I loved um, everything about it. And I had two double, I had a shoulder surgery uh, I got stuck in the whole COVID situation um, and had to wait on my surgery. And by the time they got me in, my left shoulder was completely froze. Serious, serious pain. And I was in therapy then um, from June. It was so bad. They made me go to therapy immediately after my surgery, they didn't even fix my bicep tendon because it would have froze right back up again. So I was in therapy then from June until October. And then the next, everything of course was still going on with COVID and I had just gotten out and in January I went to wipe off my countertop and my right shoulder. The same thing was happening to my right shoulder. So my husband went in to, because he was having issues with his shoulder, went to my shoulder surgeon and he sees me and he's like, hey, how you doing? I said, well, the left shoulder is great, but the right shoulder, not so much. And he's like, you're joking me. And I'm like, dude, I would never joke about that. So Fun fact is, I'm the one that ended up in surgery, and my husband didn't have his until months later. But, and after the second shoulder surgery, it took me out from doing hair. 
And so I thought maybe it would be fun to document that a little bit on this, this page as well. What a fun journey it was. Many years. I hope you all have such a fun job that you love to love to do and how fortunate am I to have career number two with such an amazing company and doing something so fun and I've always loved to scrapbook so my friends all have said how did you luck out getting such a fun job like definitely blessed All right, almost got her here, guys. All right, so once you have enjoyed the journey down, this is what it will look like. Go ahead then and apply that to your, um, your blue piece there. Someday I'll learn all the names of these colors. All righty. So the last piece that we're going to put together here is the blue and the, uh, the blue little scallop piece and the butterfly. So let's start with the butterfly and what we're going to do, I sort of wanted the butterfly to look like it was flying off the page just a little bit. So take um, your butterfly and if you can see like right here against the body, the top of the wing, take your fingernail, I don't have much, but little fingernail and just fold, pinch down and fold it up. And the same for the second piece, pinch down, fold up, and the bottom part next to the body, the bottom part of the wing where it attaches, pinch in there and fold it up. So then you'll actually see, you can see here, it will look like that. This will be up off the page. And then go ahead and do the same to the left, push down with your fingernail, Bend it up, the middle piece, and the bottom piece. So then it will look like this. And then we are just going to glue, edit here, the, wing, the antlers and then the body of the butterfly. I do not put any adhesive on the wings. Now you can if you want to, but um, I just wanted them off the page a little bit. Why not try something new and fun, right? And then we're going to use the Nouveau Glitter Marker. We're going to use Blue Bliss. Got a little happy with the glue there. your butterfly you can set him aside for a second and then your blue bliss oh, that's not the right one uh nouveau glitter marker i'm going to do the same thing as i did to the um, scallop circle on the other side and i'm going to go just around the outside of the scalloped edges here with with the nouveau glitter marker like i said you can ink it or whatever you would like to do, or you can leave it just plain. All right, and then we're going to um, put adhesive on the whole bottom of the pink and apply it to the, um, oh goodness, I'm getting ahead of myself here. All right, silly me. What we're going to do now, this sort of gets a little bit complicated. So I'm gonna put my page down here. 
you can pull out the bottom of your page. We're going to put down each of these pieces in, um, in layers. So first of all, we're going to put, we're going to put the butterfly and the scallop circle down, but um, do not put adhesive on the top left per, uh, pink wing because that is going to go over the top of the title. So again, adhere all of the pink except for do not put adhesive on the top left um, wing. If you want to watch here, I'm going to flip him over. This is the right. Do not put adhesive behind that wing because we want that to overlap our die cuts. After I got this all down, I'm like, whoa, that might be a little hard to explain. <laughs> So go ahead and, <coughs> excuse me, apply it to the middle. And then we're actually going to um, put down the whole entire um, scallop circle then. So you could go ahead and put the adhesive on it. Okay, we're going to uh, adhere the scallop blue circle, but you do not want to put adhesive on the outer right edge because that's going to overlap the picture frames here. And we're going to apply here. It, the circle goes a little bit over the corner of the bottom and then a little bit of the, I'm sorry, of the top of the four by six, and then it overlaps a little bit of the three and a half by five. So you can apply that. All right, and then the yellow swirls will do next. This, um, you will overlap here down at the bottom. So do not, um, there's a little bit here in the middle Basically, where you want to put the adhesive is the top of the swirl here and at the bottom right in here. I hope that makes sense here. So you'll want adhesive here and just a little bit down here because these other two pieces will overlap the picture frame. I wanted to give like extra dimension on here. So I hope you're with me. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to shout out and ask. All right, so you can go ahead and apply. And then the top swirl piece. This one here, you will put adhesive on all except for this little loop coming down here because it will actually go over the blue flower, the, or the blue scallop circle, I'm sorry. So I'll put adhesive on all except for this little swirl right here. My fingers have gotten to be so not nice looking anymore. I hate for people to see them, but such is life, right? I have my mother and my grandmother. They both had horrible arthritis and I'm the lucky one. All right, so pick up the pink wing, the pink left wing, and we're going to lay the that over the top of the scalloped edge and underneath the wing. And the top will go pretty much real close to the, lost for words here, the photo mat right here. 
You got him on. And then we're going to apply Enjoy the Journey. So you can put your adhesive on there. All right, now the top of the E will go underneath, if you can see like right here, this little corner right here gets tucked underneath the butterfly wing right here. And this bottom part, it'll just go underneath the, then the yellow. So we're gonna tuck underneath the pink and then the top part of the yellow will be over the t just over the top of the journey. Once you have that space correctly, you can go ahead and put it down. Okay, I've got mine spaced accurately here, so I'm going to lift it up, and hopefully you can see if um, you, if this helps. The top part of the E will be tucked underneath the pink of the wing. And then this part here will just be tucked underneath the yellow on top of the pink. And the bottom part will overlap, depending on where you place the swirl down here, it may just overlap just a little there. All righty. And the last piece is the blue swirl. And you can just put adhesive all over this one because we're just going to put this one down. Almost got another page kit done. Yay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So this one just circles around underneath here. We're gonna put flowers on the top, so. All right, once it's down, then um, go ahead and get your um, flowers back out again. Oops. And you can use whichever flowers that you prefer. Um, but I chose the little pink and I put him right up here at the top, covering up sort of the, this, this, uh, little space right here with the little pink flower there. And then this little blue one in the middle, I put him in this space here and then the one clear to the left in the middle, he will go right down here at the bottom of the Y, overlapping um, the blue swirl and the yellow swirl and the bottom of the Y, just like that. And then you can make sure that these, again, are sort of popping off your page a little bit, which once you put a cover on, you can probably still see it. So, and there you have the left side, or the, I'm sorry, the right side of your Enjoy the Journey page complete. So let me get out the other page that we completed. And now we have the completed Enjoy your journey spread. All right. I hope you enjoyed your Enjoy the Journey, Follow Your Dreams class. Um, I hope you have some exciting pictures to use on your spreads. Um, follow those dreams. I did, and it turned out pretty good for me. And I am loving and enjoying every minute of the journey. And I'll see you back here with another class at some time. Thanks for joining me. Bye.